When you think of Shakespeare, you probably think of genius playwriting. That one conspiracy that claims he's actually a group of people and the letter Q. What you may not think of, however, is how he caused a riot 230 years after his death. Let me explain. In the 1800s, American theatre was booming, with many showings of many plays, a lot of whom were Shakespeare. This came to a head in 1849, with a disagreement as to who should be the main character in the play, Edwin Forrest or William McCready. Forrest was an American star on the world of Shakespearean plays, McCready was English. If you know anything about America in the 1800s, it's that they didn't like us Brits. This came to a head when Forrest supporters would try to sabotage McCready, subtly manipulating his performance and such, and suddenly you have 10,000 people rioting in New York City. The riot police, in their infinite wisdom, decided the best way to disperse the crowd was to fire into the air and then into the crowd. Now, the issue with this is, well, firstly, why would you fire into a crowd of people? Secondly, it's New York City. Firing high into the air means you're firing at high buildings. This caused over 250 injuries and around 20 to 30 people killed. Overall, a rather poor handling of a very poor situation. 